coffee. It's the fuel sitting in the corner that makes people tick across the world. It's the reassuring pot that most of us march on. To brew a cafe chair, you need seven grams of coffee per person, so scoop accordingly. The trick is to let boiled water stand before you pour it on the ground coffee. People have tried all sorts of ways to strain out coffee grounds, in this instance, a sock. But in 1908, Dresden housewife Melita Bentz patented the first coffee filter, an idea inspired by her son's blotting paper. Little did she realise she'd sparked a global revolution. Now 400 billion cups of coffee are drunk worldwide every year. How do you like your coffee? Just milk, no sugar. If I'm in the UK, milk. If I'm on the continent in France, Italy or Spain, no milk, only sugar. With milk and just a little bit of sugar. No sugar, no cream, strong. Okay. We all have our own very particular way of making a cup or a cafetiere of coffee. But before it gets into our hands, there are legions of people at Dow Egberts working away to ensure that what goes into the packet is the very best it can be. And of course, it all starts with the beans. When they arrive at the factory, they go straight into huge containers that store 1,200 tonnes. There are more than 30 types of green beans which combine to make up over 80 blends. Every stage of production affects the flavour. Once the beans are blended, they're roasted. Once roasted, they're ground. Every nuance from timing to temperature needs to be perfect. Etienne Morneau, master blender, has been working for Dow Egbert since 1973. He tastes between 250 and 300 cups a day. Etienne is the master of coffee. He is coffee. Yeah, this is here, that's what the other blenders make. He is like a central cog in the machine. People once told me Etienne is the guy that would lay down in front of a truck before allowing bad coffee to leave this factory, and that's pretty accurate, actually. Always, because it's in my memory, we know how this coffee has to taste. And here can you again work, as you say, you can do a few times, you can do a few times, you can do a If you don't like drinking coffee, so then it has no sense. Because it's, it's impossible to taste every day 250, 300 cups of coffee, but you don't like it. That's not possible. So you have all these three things. Blend, roasting and grinding. But the most important is what the people doing is doing at home. So when you're using a cafe chair at home, how long before you plunge? I would say three minutes. Stir first, then plunge. I try and leave it as long as possible, which sometimes means I forget about it. Well, I'm quite impatient, so not very long at all. I squashed it down. It's up to you, but around three minutes should do it. Then it's time to plunge. Coffee is everywhere, all around the world. What does it mean to you? Friends. It's the smell, isn't it? Relaxation, generally. Right now, it means to me a nice way to warm up. A lift. Uh, usually it means a way to get over jet lag. It's like an opportunity to meet up uh, with friends. There are so many choices when it comes to coffee. The sort of beans, how they've been roasted and ground, do you like milk or sugar? 
After 300 cups, you may be surprised to hear that Etienne still has time to enjoy his own cup of coffee. And if you're interested, he likes his coffee strong and black with just a little bit of sugar. <laughs>